Okay, after talking it over, we decided that there's a couple different ways to do this question. So it's going to be your choice tomorrow when you see this on your test. It says, Henry's making corn grit recipe that calls for a quarter cup of corn grits for every half cup of water. How much water will he need if he uses one and a half cups of corn grits? Now, just because I like unit rates on the bottom, I am going to put uh, my half cup of water on top. And I'm going to put my one-fourth cup of grits on bottom. And it wants me to get it to be one and a half cups of grits. Now, here's what you have to do if you want to do it this technique. This technique says I'm going to use my one-fourth measuring cup until I can dump enough in to have one and a half. And the key to this is having water over grits equals water over grits. That will get me my numbers in my correct spot. So, if I only have a quarter of a cup, if I have a quarter of a cup and I dump it, how many times do I need to dump a fourth of a cup to make my one right here? How many times do I need to dump my one-fourth of a cup to make one? Sam? Four times. Four times. How many times do I need to dump my one-fourth of a cup to make a half? Tegan? Two times. So how many times have I dumped it all together? Six. So they're saying one-fourth times six gives me one and a half. One-half times six. One-half times six over one. Reduce it. One, three, three cups three cups of water. Now, I did also hear people say they did, went and made a unit rate. Mm -hmm. That works as well. So let's go and try that on for size. It says one half cup of water, one fourth cup of grits. So they did the one fourth, one half, times it by four over one, times it by four over one, so now I get cancel, 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 one cup. And then I get cancel one, cancel two, two cups. Oh, I end up with two cups over one cup. Now, I like that because I think you guys can see our direct connection here right now. If I need two cups over one cup, and please make sure you put water here. And you put grits here. I need to change one into one and a half. So that means, what do I have to do to get from one to one and a half? What do I multiply by? Or, here's the deal, if I have two cups and one cup, I need to have on the bottom here, one and a half cups. I need a three over two, correct? Right? So, I need this to become one times something gives me 3 over 2. What do I multiply any number by? What do I multiply 1 by to make it 3 over 2? Well, that's a tough question for some people to see. What do I multiply? If I'm at 1 and I want to multiply it and make it 4, what do I multiply 1 by to make it 4? 4. Well, if I'm at 1 and I want to make it 8, what do I multiply 1 by to make it 8? 8. If I'm at 1 and I want it to be 3 over 2, I'm going to multiply it by 3 over 2. So, I'm going to multiply by 3 over 2. So, 2 times 3 over 2. 2 times 3 over 2. Cancel, cancel. I get 3 cups. So, there's a couple different ways to do that question. I kind of like pretending all of the dishes are dirty. Dump the one four six times to make one and a half. I think that might be your quickest way, even though you're doing more, you're dump, doing more dumping. Trent, what'd you multiply by? Yep. Perfect. And I think you put your three over two. Where'd you get your three over two from? Your corn grits, right? That's fine. That also works.